Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, I uh, got over here. Enough said. And in this episode, I'm going to get everything but one Jiggy. Cause fuck that Jiggy. Ouch. Yeah, seriously though, that one Jiggy is pointless right now, we can't get it. Well, you can get it. Actually, if you're really good at this game, you can actually get this one Jiggy. I'm not good at this game. I can't get that one Jiggy. This guy's gonna kill me if I don't kill him. But yeah, I can't get that one Jiggy. So... You should be able to do this yourself. This is just... This isn't math! It's, it's fucking... Common... Common sense. I don't know. I, I didn't have a joke ready. I forgot to make jokes for this episode. So just... I forgot to do what Tim Allen thinks is comedy. Get around there, Banjo. Get around there. Don't forget that musical notes. I'm not quite ready to do this yet. Uh, I'm gonna do this next. And this part right here can be a little bit frustrating. The button is the butt one. The butt button. The butt button. And that makes it focused on Banjo's butt, which makes it easier to control the game, especially when it's not glitching. Banjo, tell your game to stop glitching. Remember that part where I actually did good? <laughs> Me either. Now you'll see it, now you don't. Blah, 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 blah. I like donuts. Mmm, pain. Ooh, that was my favorite thing in the game. I need health. Really bad. Please tell me there's a health box. What do they call that guy? That's what they call him. They call him the honeycombby thingy, my jagger. The beehive is actually a beehive. And actually, later in the game, there are actually bees flying around him, and he'll. Like, if you have to grab the health and run away, or just use your invincibility and you're, you're fine. You can actually kill the bees with invincibility, too. Who wants to kill bees? That's no fun, you know? You kill the bees? Who does that? Bullshit. Stupid. Dumbass. This puzzle does not need to be done with bees. I'm just saying. It's already hard enough being a maze that leads to something you're going to use probably multiple times in your first time playing the game. Yeah, also I suggest if it's your first time playing this game, the first thing you try for is getting all the hidden items in the game. I'm gonna try going this way this time. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I'm gonna say you try going try going for musical notes before you go for all the other hidden items, because just just not gonna progress with you. Oh bitch. Screw you, Panjo, I got it. Screw you. Screw you, Grinsilda. Screw you, Amsterdam. Don't know why. Just fuck it. It's that one thing that... Bill O'Reilly, isn't it? Bill O'Reilly said that, I think. I don't fucking know. Just gonna fucking play. Get the fucking boots! And now I'm gonna lose ten of my Thinger McJaggers. I'm a crocodile! 
a song with that, isn't there? A song with crocodiles? Someone, someone sing it for me. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. Look at me move. I'm a banana. I'm a crocodile. I'm a banana. Look at me move. Banana power. Banana power. Banana power. Look at me move. Okay, I gotta stop singing that song. Let's start playing. <laughs> So anyone watching this, I feel bad for like, I always wonder like, if it's like the first time watching like an episode of my LPs, and I'm doing what I've been like singing I'm a banana in the LP, make sure it's good back there, and like, it's just like fucking singing like, I'm a banana, and like someone just walks in like, this is their first video, there's me, I'm a banana, I'm a banana, for like half the episode, this is fucking brilliant. And that's like kind of like my goal, is kind of like to scare people off, it's like the middle of the LP. And, like, not make any sense to them at all. Oh, look, musical notes. Get the fucking note, Banjo. Crocodile Banjo. I'm Crocodile Banjo! I'm not just a redneck, I'm an Australian redneck. The most hated kind. That's a life there. It's uh, I don't know how many jigs the guy. Just some. And that's all that matters. Actually, no. I'm missing one. We're not gonna say two, because if I say two. Oh. Tip banana, tip banana, sweet banana, sweet corn, sweet banana, tip banana, love bananas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have fucking failed. I failed you all! <gasps> I'll cut ahead. I always wondered what Batman would taste like if he was a popsicle. I always wondered what Arnold Schwarzenegger would taste like if he was a brownie. And the flesh of Pamela Anderson in your tomato soup. And no one loves Justin Bieber. No, 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 no. Also, there's blood in his feet when he gets eaten by the piranhas. Run for it, Banjo. Run for it. Run for it. Run for it. Oh, God. Oh, okay. So, what I missed is over by Tip Top Giant Fucking Turtle, or whatever it is. I don't fucking know. I'll fall him off the edge like crazy stuff. This giant fucking turtle. Enough said. Oh, hey. Someone's got honeycombs waiting for me. That's how you stay alive in this game. Let's give you guys a tip. If you want to stay alive in this game, don't fucking use... Don't fucking turn down health. Don't ever think you're good enough. If you're low on health, actually kill some shit and then raise your health bar up. That's exactly, that's exactly what you should do. Time to start cutting again. So emo. I 
Actually, I got a 100 notes. It might be safe to try my hand at a, uh... Not, not an official shortcut. But try discovering one. Maybe, maybe that would come in handy. Um... Because I could use a shortcut right now, really badly. Warning, this is not a real shortcut in the game. It's been stated to be a real shortcut. It's probably been tried before, though. So I'm probably not going to be able to do it, but oh well. Not possible. Impossible! It's impossible! That is impossible! Oh no, this is Godzilla! Oh, Godzilla! This is Godzilla! I can't speak. To the next. It's too hard. This is really fun. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! That came, that came so close to actually working! Oh my god! Oh my god, that, that, that almost worked. That is great. Okay, enough of my fine, 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 fine cheats, but it's not working. There are none. It would be nice if there were cheats, though. I mean, there should be some kind of... Oh my freaking Jesus, if I had a moon jump right now, that'd be really nice. Okay, okay, this is the official I'm back. Because I tried to do some stupid shit off screen. Like, I was trying to find shortcuts, and I almost killed myself, and I was like, fuck this, I'm just gonna die if I do that, so I'm not gonna do it. And, uh, it didn't work. I was trying to find a way to jump onto this platform here with the, where you got the jiggy at. And, uh, without having to go through the maze. I slowly shrunk in the hands of Mumbo. And back to being an alligator or a crocodile. Actually, wait, like he's square. He's square, so he is a crocodile. It's crocodiles are the ones with square faces, yeah. Yeah, that's how you recognize them. Crocodiles have a square nose. Alligators have a rounded nose. That's uh, that's what I that's what I learned in like second grade, and I like I, I love how like I can't remember a thing for like l like last week's lesson of freaking high school, but like fucking like second grade you like fucking memorized everything by heart and you like know the entire school year. I'm sorry, that's just I, love, I thought that was brilliant how well I knew second grade. It's always, uh, it's always, like, everything, like, third grade and below, all the stuff you learn sticks out like a sore thumb. Like, sixth grade, the fourth grade to sixth grade, it's like, oh yeah, I, I know that stuff pretty well. Then it's like, seventh grade beyond, just like, oh fuck it, I don't remember any of that stuff. I'm not gonna memorize any of it. Like, you know they have, like, those commercials they always say that are, like, in summer break, you lose, like, half the stuff you learned over school? Fuck that! Like fucking, you learn, you lose like 75% or more of the stuff you learn. You fucking like forget the whole fucking school year. And it's like, oh fucking, I don't care. I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> Cheats are the spell book you have found, the magic cheats I have for you. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book? Fine, for bear and bird, ah, spell they get. We sure do, bag lady. Come on, book boy, give us the spells. Only one spell, she took can tell, into the cove with blue eggs on sandcastle floor in treasure trove, cove world. Help you with will. Thanks, Mr. Cheeto. Hidden in layer are other spell books, and them you should find. So in other words, uh, we can go to Sandcastle Floor, Treasure Trove Cove, and enter that code, and uh, I'll do that at the end before the final fight. But I want to see this here. Okay, it's just a triangle in a circle. That just triangles in a circle just means magic. 
to this side, because I just want to make sure. Because rare aren't exactly the smartest humans alive. Spells. See, yeah, there's rare for you. They didn't put any, like, like fucking pentagrams in there or something like that. Like, I was fucking playing, like, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, which is, like, the most kiddish, kiddish version of superheroes you could possibly fucking find. Besides that one game. And fucking Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Fucking, uh... Like, there's this one level, it's... What's his face? From, uh, Ghost Rider. And there's fucking pentagrams everywhere, and I'm just, like, fucking, like... Like... Like, I wasn't necessarily, like, offended by it. It, like, it wouldn't offend me if I saw, like, a pentagram in a game, because it's, like, a fucking, like... You know, a game where it's, like, you're fighting demons and shit. It's the fact that I was playing fucking Marvel Ultimate Alliance that offended me when I saw that. I was like, what the hell is a little kid's game? And I'm, I'm pretty sure that they probably got, like their asses ripped off and served to them on a silver platter because of that, but even then, like, they knew what they did. They were just like, <laughs> Oh, no, I see just what direction this is taking. Oh, my God, I lived. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I didn't get hurt. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that? I was like fucking in the enemy and it fucking didn't- he like teleported me away. That, my friends, is legitly good programming if you consider something that almost will never happen to any player and still fix the glitch anyways. That is just beautiful. See, Rareware, this is why I love your games, because the enemies aren't fucking invisibles. Like, invisible models. Like, an enemy usually is, like, an invisible model. You can walk through the enemy, and it will still hurt you for doing so, but you can walk through them. This game doesn't fucking do that. This game is just like, okay, okay, we can't, that, that doesn't make any sense. You know, he's just fucking, make the enemy solid so that they'll teleport out or some shit. Also, that won't be really required right now, because that just leads to a later level. This, on the other hand, is required to get a Jiggy. This is a really cool level right here. So I love this little area right here. This is really cool. Really spooky. Uh, something, something more games need spooky stuff. Like, not scary stuff like Dead Spaces. Not saying I was scared by that game. I'm saying this is scary. It's stuff popping out of you and shit. This is spooky. Like, little kids games need more of these spooky areas. Like, these tombs and shit. With, like, this, this is cool looking. I love the design there. It is just really freaking cool. Like, as a little kid, that was legitly a cool room to see in a game. It's just, like, nostalgia, like, crazy right there. I just remember that being a really cool room, I just love going in there and just looking at it. Like, it's kind of like, uh, when you play a game, just to hear that one background song. It's like that. It's like the, uh... Oh, well, you know, I don't really remember many games that I played just to hear the background music. Like, I know Brawl, I used to, like, when they had, like, a sound test, I would do something like that, I would do some music. But, I don't remember really playing a level to listen to the music that much. Maybe, maybe, uh, World 3 in Kirby's Dreamlands, uh, which is Float Islands. I did, I was a big fan of the song there, as a little kid. That was a pretty, that was a pretty, that was pub, yeah, that, it'd be Bubbly Cloud, Bubbly, Bubbly Clouds is alright, but fucking Float Islands is, like, the best fucking song in video game history back right there. That's like fucking classic. Like everyone just nostalgia's all over the place when they hear that. These guys are just gonna be pain in the ass, aren't they? There's a lot of stuff to do here. I'm gonna open this door up, but I'm not gonna go through it because it just spoils everything in the game. And then back here, remember how they said earlier that magic cauldrons lead to teleporters? There is one of them. There is not a room back there, don't try. It's just a black sprite that makes it look like it could be a room. Don't understand why they would do something like that. I understand this looks cool, but... but like I said, this game is a really cool... This, this game, for, for what the world, yeah, the world are really bright and bouncy. But your overworld, which is Gruntilda's Lair... It's spooky. It's cool. It's, it's it's cool, spooky area, and I'm 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 cool with that. You know, it's like it's like uh, the kind of thing I like to see. And 
And there's a green one, which is a new color we haven't seen before. Just don't worry about him yet. Now, back here for something. Nope. Yeah, the other thing with this game I like a lot, I'm not saying this is exactly a good thing or a bad thing at all. But it's not like Mario 64 where there's like glitches like hell that like help you out in the game. Like you can go up mountains and shit with, by pressing B by custom glitch. This game doesn't have any of that. And while I'm a big fan of using glitches like that, I, I don't like a game where they don't think it through because of glitches like that. Like this game, Rare thought everything out. There is no shortcut in this game. And that means that they, they, yeah, well, it does get kind of annoying at some points. It means that Rare actually realized what they were doing when they were making this game and fixed all their problems. Now, right here is the later switch, don't worry about. It's going to be a time switch, and there's no way you can get to it without a later move. Same move, which we can't get that one jiggy in uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp. I think it's everything. Yeah, I think I think it's one of the things this game didn't do that Banjo Tui did do that I don't I like about this game is that it didn't connect levels that often. Like it didn't like make it you have to go back to a level. Nuts and bolts. Uh, nuts and bolts. Banjo Tui it makes you go back to levels. Although on the, on the upside, all the levels in Banjo Tui are connected. You can actually get from one level one level to another without going to uh to um the Isle of Hags, which is kind of like Gruntilda's lair in that game. Like, literally, like, the first level, there's a little hidden room, and if you go through it, you'll be in the second level of the game. And there's also a hidden room that leads to the last level of the game, and all that, and they're all connected. And it's, like, it's really cool, because, like, some of the times, like, you'll actually go through those hidden rooms, and you'll be allowed to go through them, and you'll get, like, a little sneak peek of a later level. And it's just, it's just a really cool game. I like how that one's programmed. It's my favorite. I, th I think I think Donkey Kong 64 did it once or twice, too. And I know that uh, Rayman 2 did it once. And I thought that was the coolest thing as a kid. It was always really cool for me to go back to a level from another level without going to the overworld. Anyways, I'm going to end it here. And I'm going to say, hope you enjoyed. And, yeah. Hope this LP goes off with a bang. A good bang.